coverage you can count on continues in Augusta where a beloved annual event is back. The 43rd annual Arts in the Heart of Augusta Festival will kick off today. News Channel 6's Kim Vickers live at the Augusta Common. Uh, Kim, this has a major economic impact for the city of Augusta. Oh yeah, it absolutely does. You know, they're expecting around 100,000 people to come out for this event from across the country. While they're in town, they're going to be at, staying at hotels and shopping and eating at our restaurants. So it's going to be pretty big for our economy. People headed out to the event can expect fine arts and craft vendors, five stages with nonstop entertainment, and 20 authentic cuisines from across the globe. There will also be a family area with activities and performances for kids, as well as an author's lounge featuring Georgia authors. This is the last year at the helm of this this event for Greater Augusta Arts Council Executive Director Brenda Durant, who says that she's been too busy to think too much about it. Arts in the Heart doesn't leave you much time to be pensive. So I've been doing this event as if the same way I've done it every single year, maybe leaving more notes behind or at least someone behind me writing down notes about what I'm doing. So I'm excited. I read years ago that you should always leave the party when you're having a great time. I am ha still having a great time. So Arts in the Heart will kick off today starting at 5 p.m. and tomorrow and Sunday morning starting at 11 a.m. You can find out more information including where to park and how to get those badges over at WJBF.com. Live in Augusta, Kim Vickers, WJBF News Channel 6.